Uh, next step in creating our e-platform for teaching is to set up and create a Google Classroom. To do that, what you want to do is go into Google and type in, uh, sorry, just go to Google Classroom. One of the first things that'll pop up should be right here. You'll get to a page like this, and then you're what you're going to want to do is hit go to classroom. Uh, it might have you sign in, um, but if it does not, uh, that means you already signed in. You should be able to create everything you need to create. What you want to do to create a classroom, you want to go to this top right section, hit the plus sign, and you're going to create a class. Uh, you honestly can't move forward if you do not have all of this information done. So click yes, I read it, and click continue. Class name, we're going to call this e learning platform our section uh, and subjects these are all things that can be changed for you uh, if you're going to use this as a one class fits all I would just say create yourself a class title and leave these uh, alone all right so here we go we are creating our platform it should take just a few seconds to get it set up once it's set up you can go through this process if you want to but I can also walk you through this okay first things first um, let's just do a quick rundown of what Google Classroom is and what what happens here the stream so we're in the stream section right now what is the stream this think of this kind of like a Facebook feed anything you post will uh, populate here now most students are never aware that they need to go to the classwork session but stream just posts everything it goes from top to bottom uh, and everything that needs to get done if you post an assignment it will pop up or populate right here and it'll tell you what to do uh, and when it is due if you uh, go up here and go to classwork section this is where you will be posting your work um, from assignments notes information questions anything like that by hitting the create button you can create an assignment quiz assignment questions material and reuse certain posts this is something a little bit more advanced but i highly recommend staying organized because we can talk about this a little bit later uh, people these are pe these are students who will be in your class you have an option of adding students by email or you can also have them join by having them go to school classroom and inputting this code um, this code is what students will input when they need to join a Google Classroom, uh, and then they will populate in here. Uh, grades, uh, this again, this will populate depending on the type of assignment that you give and the points you awarded to that uh, assignment. A few other things that you can find out um, right here, this little hamburger bar, you can find something called the calendar. This calendar is specifically for this Google Classroom, and I will show you how to embed it into your um, website that you just created. Uh, what else is here? You have a to-do section, stuff that things uh, for students that need to get done or things that they missed. A review section is, again, stuff that was sent back from the teacher. Uh, and this is things that the students will not see. Archive classes. This is once you have finished this class, you can archive it so it no longer appears in your system. But let's get started on our Google Classroom. First things first, I want to go to this classwork section and I'm going to create a few topics. Now, this is the way I organize my personal Google Classroom. I just find it the easiest um, way of organizing everything. So I'm going to create a few topics. One topic is going to be homework another topic is going to be book another topic is going to be daily check-in last topic is going to be tests and quizzes now that you have all this information done and ready you can uh, move things around based on what you want students to see right when they log into this uh, but the way I have it set up is I have my daily check-in I'll have my books and information I'll have my homework and then tests and quizzes so that's everything you need to know so far for getting started with Google Classroom. 
check in for the next one when we talk about setting up and importing information for Google Classroom.